One of the questions we get asked most often is, how's the real estate market? I'm Scott Sacken, and here's my take. I'm going to preface this by reminding you that I've been a full-time realtor since November of 1988. It's been my career for most of my adult life. And as they say on the State Farm commercials, I've seen a thing or 200,000. Um, the real estate market is ever-changing and totally in flux. We know it's a lot different than it was six months ago or even one year ago. And what we know for certain is there's a lot of uncertainty. And I think that's what's unsettling for a lot of potential buyers and sellers today is because a buyer, for example, would love to have a 3% interest rate and lower prices than we have in the current climate. That would be ideal. I think sellers would love to know they're selling at the absolute top of the market. And with whatever their next chapter in life brings them, they know that option is going to be available to them, whether it's getting a great home out of state, getting a smaller home in the current marketplace, or just putting their equity in the bank and living in a home that they already own. So I think, again, what we need to look at is balancing the reality of a changing market with what the goals and the needs are of a particular buyer or seller. And what I'm seeing evolve right now is what we call those need-based movements versus want-based movements. For example, it's time to move on to the next chapter of life for many people, whether that's saying, you know what, I'm tired of renting and I want to buy my first home. Let's take that scenario for a quick minute. I think expectations have to be managed. What I will say from being in this business for as long as I have is, if you're planning on being in your home for more than eight years, you're going to make money. There's not one person that's lost money in the real estate market over an eight-year period in the history of my lifetime, if you will. The stats bear that out. Real estate is an amazing long-term investment that beats out inflation and most other forms of, of savings. Will a home buyer perhaps have to adjust their criteria right now? Very much so. That means perhaps going with a little bit less of a home than they may have expected, understanding rates are going to be a little bit higher. But I got to tell you, in a changing market, as I've seen in the past, things evolve. We've got buy-downs coming out right now. There are ways that the sellers who are wanting to get rid of their properties will help finance these buy-downs in the rates and lower interest rates. Even though we're in a 7% climate right now, it's not unheard of for a buyer to be able to get a locked fixed 5% rate for the first couple of years. I predict rates will probably hover back down into the fives in the next few years. So again, if buyers can kind of weather the storm right now, you know, they're going to be okay. Sellers, they're asking, gee, is this a good time to sell? They feel like they've missed the peak. Well, as in all things in life, if we all had a crystal ball and could time the market, it would be fantastic. But if we look at the average amount of equity that home sellers have today, it's way up since pre-COVID times. In fact, one of the stats that we love to use is if the market even dropped tomorrow by a considerable amount, it would still be higher than it was when we started COVID. And at that time, we surveyed people and said, how did you do since 2008? And they were thrilled with where their gains were. So what we do is we'd like to ask sellers, really, what's most important with you? Waiting until your property perhaps bumps back up another 100,000 or X percent, or to say, do you have enough equity to move on to the next chapter of life? And in conclusion with this, I think no matter who your realtor is or who you look for for guidance as a buyer or seller, there are opportunities right now. There are risks like there always are. Getting out of bed every day is a little bit of a risk. But if it's your time in life to make a move and you have the right guidance, I believe there are opportunities and there are ways that it can be done and you're going to be comfortable and happy. Those first-time buyers, there's nothing better than saying, I own my own home. I'm driving in the driveway of the home that I own at a payment I can afford and I just don't think there's any better feeling in that at all. And the same thing for sellers. You don't want to look in the rear view mirror and say, you know what, I put my life on hold waiting for X amount of dollars more than if I had sold, maybe taken a little bit less than possible, but made things work out so I can move to the next chapter of life. That's kind of my summary for today. Again, looking at what you want to do versus what you need to do, perhaps blending the two together and just getting with the advisors that you can trust to help figure out how to make your dream a reality today. Now I'm curious for what Lane's take on the matter is.